excited about today's uh show special show we have here for you guys we have a special guest for our we're going to talk about 2022 predictions it is the year 2022 i know it might feel crazy it sounds crazy it's, i'm still getting used to it i keep writing 2021 on things but we are here we're in the new year it is january 2022 we have a special guest luria petrucci from live streaming pros that she is going to join us here in just a minute and she's going to share her big predictions with live video for 2022. So whether you are just getting started with live video or whether you've been creating live videos for a while, you want to definitely tune into these predictions because they're going to help you make sure that you make 2020 you, 2020 you, 2022 for you. How about that? <laughs> Too many yous and stuff in there. So I'm really, really excited to uh, bring out our special guest. But before we get started, my name is Melanie Diane Howe, and I'm one of your live streaming mentors here at StreamYard. And definitely super excited about what's coming this year. Uh, you know, I host our Wednesday show, Ask StreamYard. And yesterday, I did a rundown of some of our latest features. And you know, we have been releasing features like crazy. So definitely make sure that you are logging into your account, trying all those new features. Because I'll tell you, some of the predictions and some of the things that Lori is going to talk about today, you're going to be able to use our StreamYard application to make a greater impact in 2022 for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So before I bring on Luria, I definitely want to hear where you all are tuning in from. Got to say hi to everybody. I've got all kinds of people tuning in. Oh, we've got Palm Springs in the house. Oh, it's got to be a lot warmer than for me right now. So uh, I'm in Indiana. It's pretty chilly. Yes. So uh, Colin says two days in a row. Yeah. I, I you know what? You're going to see a lot of my face these days. It's kind of all over the place. So we've got Manila here. Hello, Mark from Manila. It's good to see you. Uh, oh, Nice. We've got all kinds of people all over the place. We've got people from all over the world. We are actually uh, an international. We have uh, StreamYard available in all kinds of languages uh, as well. We got Las Vegas here. This is super exciting. Arizona. Everybody's watching from somewhere warmer than Indiana where I'm watching. It's freezing here. So uh, definitely uh, excited to have everybody here today. So Yolanda, hello. Yolanda Fabian's here as well. Clearwater, Florida. See, y'all are just trying to make me jealous. But Doug from SmackDown Outdoors, he's watching from Minnesota. It's probably a little cooler there than it is here. So, all right, this is going to be great. We are going to get to it. So I'm going to bring up Luria Petrucci from Live Streaming Pros. She is a live streaming mentor. She's been doing live video for like 16 years. She's actually been doing it before many of us even had any kind of capability or access to do live video. She has been doing live video before it was easy to do live video, before all the tech, before solutions like StreamYard came along. So she has a wealth of knowledge for us that she's going to be sharing with us. She's kind of like, I don't know, She's she's got all kinds of knowledge about tech, strategy, social media, marketing. So you're all in for a treat today. So I'm going to bring Luria up and let her share a little bit more about herself with all of you. Well, hello, Luria. Hey, I'm so thrilled to be here. Yeah. Where where was StreamYard when I started? Because I had Seriously, to pay like $10,000 for a unit. I mean, it was like ridiculous, right? <laughs> yeah. Tell, tell us about that. Like before we get started, I mean, tell like tell us where you got started with live streaming and and how you've seen it evolve. I mean, you've seen it, like you just said, like you had to have all this crazy equipment, a studio mm -hmm. probably, and all these things. And now all you really need is one of these, a little I phone, and you can create amazing videos. So it's tell insane. us a little about how you got started with that. Yeah, I, I got started with streaming back in 2007, video in 2005 before it was cool. <laughs> and um, yeah, stream. I, I've, I, 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 I actually started streaming and I've seen all of the ups and downs and all of the trends and the, the failures and the successes for live video throughout time. But I got started because I actually co-hosted a TV show and I was so scared to death of being on camera and being live that I was like, nope, got to fix this. I can't, I can't have this uncomfortability. So I decided to stream live for my audience on a weekly basis and throughout the years, sometimes daily. And, um, yeah, I, at that time, it was only kind of 
um, in the box solutions that you had that, that were very, very expensive, very complicated to use. And it's just gotten easier and easier over the years. And I just, my mind, if I sit back and think about it, it's so crazy how different live video is now than it was before. Um, but it's really exciting because you see all of these progressions and how easy and consumable it is for anybody to get started. Right. And that's actually what you and I have talked about many times before is just, you know, the technology can't be the excuse anymore, can it? Because it we have these easy solutions. I mean, like I said, all you really need is a phone. You can you can actually go to StreamYard.com on your phone or your iPad. You don't even have to have a computer or a camera or anything. You just need a device and you can actually start creating amazing live videos. So, you know, we can't use technology or the equipment as the excuse anymore. So I definitely love how it's all come along and is supporting everyone because you and I both have the same agreement that live video is probably one of the best ways that you can reach an audience, connect with an audience and, and really do things and, and grow and meet your goals, whatever those goals are. We have a lot of people that use StreamYard that are using it really for fun, uh, mm -hmm. maybe just to, to, to share their hobby. We have a lot of churches that use our yeah. uh, application as well. We have a lot of businesses. We have brands big businesses. We have influencers, thought leaders, and we have uh, people like you and me, entrepreneurs and small businesses that are using the tool. So it's definitely uh, easy for anyone to use and you can get started super, super, super easily. You don't have to have all this crazy stuff. So, yeah. and speaking of, why don't we go ahead and we'll start talking about what you're here to share with us today, which is your big predictions for 2022. Obviously you have a lot of experience. Uh, you've been working with entrepreneurs, influencers, businesses yourself, but you're also just really in tune with what's going on in the industry. And when I say the industry, I really just mean the industry of business, but also the industry of tech and live video. So yeah. uh, you've seen everything evolve over time. You've seen the shifts, but you also have a lot of insights into what's coming. So I'm really, really grateful that you're here to share your knowledge with us and our audience today. I'm certainly excited to hear what you have to say about uh, your big predictions for 2022. So with that being said, I mean, why not just get started with you, Number what one, what big you prediction. Guys? You guys ready? Give me a <laughs> yeah. big yes in the comments. I want to know or what no. everyone else's predictions are too. Like no, everyone else should good, say yes. what their predictions are for Because I am curious. Mm -hmm. I think we have our audience is amazing. We have so many great people in there uh, that, that are using videos all the time. Yeah. Video for Bosses. She's got a lot of experience as well coming over, watching from Great Britain. You know, John Pullum is here as well. He's been yeah. using live video a lot too. I want to know what everyone else's predictions are, but they're ready. Look at this. We're ready. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so prediction number one, Luria, why don't you uh, give it to us? Number one, and this is the biggest one, I probably should have saved it for last, is <laughs> <laughs> live shopping. Um, this is something that is going to take the world by storm. Think QVC or Home Shopping Network, but you. <laughs> but not on TV, on social platforms of all kinds. Um, Amazon Live is probably the biggest kind of name in the live shopping experience right now. However, there are platforms opening up that are specifically for live shopping. And, and let me take a step back here. People come to you to watch you live in order to buy. Simple as that, right? Like they want to be more informed. They want to know what to buy. And there's a lot of different ways that you can use this in your brand, even if you don't want to be QVC yourself. Um, there are a lot of ways to use it so that it supports what you're already doing, um, as well as if you want to make it your own, your big, your thing, right? Like that is something that people will become career people at is hosting live shopping experiences. So live shopping across the board, even YouTube and Facebook are working on shopping experiences integrated into their platforms to make it easier for people to buy. And um, over the last couple of years, even clothes shopping has been a big thing that has um, been very, very popular, but yet nobody knows about it. Um, and so I've seen a lot of success with students through the shopping, clothes shopping um, world. Um, people just literally just show up to buy and they get so excited about spending money because of you. So it's a, it's a very interesting space. Um, it's going to progress very, very quickly over 2022 or 2020 you. Huh. 20. I know. I'm like, I it's a hard it. one. I, I, I think that. I'm going to struggle with that one for a while. <laughs> I know. Kind of work 
out. Uh, so you know, I definitely noticed, by the way, you know, obviously Amazon is a huge, uh, th this live shopping with Amazon. I mean, you go to amazon.com and you're looking at a product and all of a sudden you scroll down and, you know, I always tell people, read the reviews, read the reviews before mm -hmm. you buy anything like cameras or webcams or lights or anything. But you can now also, there sometimes will be an actual live video on that page of the product you're looking at of someone talking about that product in the moment. Yeah. And, you know, I know that we have a lot of users actually that are interested in becoming an Amazon influencer and using Amazon live to, to talk about things and to make affiliate income, which is an interesting concept that seems to be getting more and more popular as well. But with StreamYard, you can actually use StreamYard's custom RTMP that, you know, you can add a custom mm -hmm. RTMP destination, use that Amazon uh, destination, and you can actually use our application to stream. And it's funny. I love when I watch one of these, some of these, and I will see a lot of StreamYard users actually creating their streams. But I noticed even on Wayfair, I was on the Wayfair app and I, I saw it on there, starting to see it on some of these actual platforms. So the social media, you talked about, you know, using it and doing, you know, showcasing your products, but you can even showcase other products through affiliate stuff. And, you know, using yeah. that custom RTMP destination, you can actually stream to those platforms uh, if you have that, you know, status at that approval to do it. So it's something I'm seeing more and more of, and it, it is becoming, the audience, you know, the shopper, if you will, yeah. is becoming more accustomed to being able to get that kind of information, to have that influence, to be able to have that confidence in making a purchase, whether exactly. it be from a purchase directly to you uh, or a purchase of a product that you're recommending to them. So uh, pretty exciting. You've done some Amazon lives mm -hmm. uh, and done some of that stuff as well. So uh, by the way, everyone, if you have questions, for Luria about these predictions, definitely post those in the comments. We will definitely take some questions uh, from you guys. Uh, we have a certain amount of time today, but we would definitely love to answer your questions as well. So post those in the comments. Let us know what you think. Let us know what your thoughts are. I saw a couple other people saying that they're already doing uh, costume jewelers. Nice. She's like, I do, I do uh, that now. Go. So there are definitely some people already Jewelry using live video and doing this live shopping experience. So yeah. super, super great to see that. So, okay, well. Are you ready for prediction number two? Let's do it. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> uh, prediction number two is that every platform will have live capability. And maybe I should back up here and say, maybe not every single platform, but <laughs> um, somebody mentioned Shopify earlier. Shopify is, uh, is getting into that. Discord is getting into that, right? Like all of these different platforms, not just video platforms, but other types of platforms, chat apps, um, buying apps, uh, things, just everything is kind of starting to integrate live video um, into their world. And so I think we're going to see a lot more of that. Um, and just, it's just going to become so much more normal. <laughs> I I remember the days, Melanie, when I used to um, walk, you know, somebody would ask me what I do and I would get this t totally blank stare and the confusion look on their face of like, what is it you do? I don't get it. Right. <laughs> and it's, it was always so frustrating to answer that question. Um, but now as we enter normalcy with live video in 2022, it's really going to be integrated in a lot of different ways, which... I think strategically is going to get a little tricky for us as creators um, and businesses to decide where to put your attention um, because in the past it's been, you know, you had a few options, a uh, handful of options, but now you're going to have like this place and this place and everybody is going to expect you to be in the place that they want you to be. doesn't mean you have to be, but I think that's, it's a, an amazing thing and it's also going to cause some confusion for us. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, I do think that I, I love what you said about live video is becoming normalized. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, we just talked about the whole live shopping and we're opening up these applications to, to make purchases and we're seeing it right there. You know, something I've always said is people are actually involved in live video more than they really realize it. Like if you're in a Zoom meeting, you're yes. in, you're on live video. Like not it's the streaming. same thing, right? Yes. You're, you're on a live video. It's just not necessarily publicized, right? Mm -hmm. But I love this concept, this prediction about 
that the platforms are going to start having live video is going to be an, a component inside these platforms. You know, there are, you know, um, video for bosses mentioned here, you know, she's got three think Griffic, yes. Mighty networks, you know, I, I mean, heck, I don't know. I mean, maybe even one day buy me a coffee. will have some sort of integration oh, of I'm sure live will. video inside the platform itself. Patreon already does. Right. Exactly. So I think when we think of live video, we think of social media, we think yeah. of YouTube, we think of Facebook, you know, we think of going live inside of a Facebook group, but as all of the social media platforms are starting to kind of pull in this live component, I mean, you can go live, we're live today on Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook group, we're multi-streaming into all these places, right? <laughs> but yet there's also this new concept of almost like gated live video. Like if you like have a membership, somebody logs into your membership and you can be live inside of there. So yeah. kind of like how people were previously, you know, using Zoom meetings and Google meets and things. So it is, it is interesting. And I, I love this prediction, as I said, because I really do think that, you know, the platforms are going to have to keep up with it. And so, you know, one of the things that m makes me excited is it's going to just be easier for the users to utilize, again, the technology of live video without having to be a, you know, technologists or like know how to code something. So like with StreamYard, we, you can actually embed a, a Facebook live recording, you know, into a website. And I think that in the future, we'll be able to actually have a embed, a, embed a live video itself uh, over on into a, a platform as well. So certainly a lot of great things uh, coming in regards to how that works. So we have some questions. Uh, yeah, real go quick, ahead. I, got, real yeah. Quick, I just want to say backyard said, don't forget rumble. It's getting to the point in, in, in this prediction, right? It's gotten to the point already and it's going to get even worse that there's an, it's an impossibility to it answer or to list all of the different places you can go live right it's like who's get, somebody's gonna have to create a website that has literally all of the places right <laughs> and keep yeah. that up to date <laughs> it's almost like you know podcasting it's like podcasting and there used to be one app where you listen to right. podcasts no. and now i mean Everything. now you don't even say like find me on apple Podcasts. you just say listen on your favorite podcast yeah. because there's so many places to listen to, you know, a podcast itself. Yeah. So, okay. Sorry, um, you had questions. No, 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 no problem. So we have some questions that are coming in, but you know, I want to be respectful of Luria's time and, and everybody else as well. So if you have questions about these predictions that Luria is talking about, we just talked about, you know, her, her big prediction. Number one was live shopping. And then the next prediction was that hey, all these platforms are going to start to embrace live video and it's going to be a component in within the platform itself. Now, Video for Bosses did have a question about Amazon Live. Mm. So she says, what are the requirements for Amazon Live? I don't know that they've publicized those. Yeah, they but do. Well, they I do mean, have a well, they've publicized requirements. However, they don't publicize the details of all of the requirements. So <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> but um, you have to sign up to be an influencer. So there are two ways you could be a brand selling something mm -hmm. and then you can go live through that or you can be an influencer in order to sign up to be an influencer you have to go through their registration process and then they this is where they don't publish their requirements it, basically you connect a channel like youtube and they look at it to see how influential you are mm -hmm. um and it, they're not just looking at subscriber counts or or follower counts they're looking at engagement as well so this is another reason why engagement is so freaking important if you haven't figured that one out yet um is is engagement is becoming that factor of influence as opposed to just pure numbers oh i love that you said that so explain to our audience you know, because we have a, we actually have a lot of people uh, that are on YouTube. So we have a lot of viewers on YouTube uh, watching today as well. And so describe because, you know, when I think of live video engagement is like, oh, you're commenting on my live. But talk about tell me what you how you define engagement so that everybody's clear on what you mean by that. Well, engagement means a lot of different things. Um, analytically, with YouTube especially and Facebook, um, engagement is actually length of time that people stay. It's the number of comments. It's the length of the comments. A yes is different than a five-sentence five comment, right? So um, that is a factor. Uh, it's the like button. It's... Um, it's uh, shareability, right? Things like that. So there are a number of different pieces that these platforms look at for engagement. Um, comments is, of course, the the most known or the most thought about. Um, and I I tend to put a lot of weight on two things: length of stay 
of that live stream as well as the comments themselves because comments actually help you go beyond just the engagement of that live stream. You're really creating an unengaged community at that point. The more comments and the more repeating, repeat, repeating viewers you have, so the more they come back, that's also another point of engagement, them actually coming back to your channel or coming back to another video. Um, but yeah, that, that whole process of building that loyal community over time um, isn't a factor or an indicator. Sorry, I should say that backwards. The, the number of comments and the length of comments is an, an, a factor of that long-term loyal in uh, community. Does that make sense? I, yes. I, I said that weird. <laughs> Words are hard in 2022, apparently, because I'm struggling. <laughs> Can I add that as a, <laughs> as a prediction? Words become really hard. <laughs> well, for whatever reason, 2022 you is words are hard. In oh, oh no, oh no, we lost Luria. <laughs> She'll be back. You watch. She'll be back. She probably lost a quick internet connection or who knows what. What's kind of cool is that there she's back. Okay. She hit a button, I bet. Did you hit a button? I hit a button. <laughs> <laughs> Live video, everyone. <laughs> hey, we're here for it. <laughs> I'm streaming pro right here. <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna stall here for just a minute. <laughs> Sorry I knew about you'd be that. back. I knew you'd be back. But hey, good timing because as Sammy Superstar says Luria does that all the time. I don't do that all the time. <laughs> now come on. <laughs> I was thinking you were just doing it on purpose to pick on me. So no. we do you have great timing because we have a couple questions that are coming great. in. So <laughs> Patty Lang Sacred Memento says, do you mean comments ah. after the stream or chat comments during the live? Both. Sorry, a helicopter, like I sound like a chopper just flew over my condo <laughs> Are and you it in freaked trouble? me out. So yeah. So do you mean comments after the stream or chat comments during the live? Both. Um, both of it matters. It, you want, you really want to encourage live chat comments during the stream itself. Um, but you also want to set yourself up for c getting comments after the fact. And that's why you have question of the days, right? And things like that, where you're asking people to engage. And as you wrap up your stream, you ask what their biggest takeaway was. That way people are still having that opportunity or that call to action to engage. Okay. Yeah. I love that. And somebody, uh, actually is also asking, they're talking about the, like, you know, does the like really matter anymore, especially uh. since they've taken away the dislike, uh, button and all that. So liking a video, you talked about liking a video, even sharing, embedding, uh, you know, but the comments, but I loved what you said too, about the return viewer. Yeah. So a return viewer would be somebody who's maybe jumped on your video. They jumped on your live, but then they came back and watched a replay or they're returning to your channel in general. And all that data is collected. All that data is captured. And so, um, you know, the more of that type of activity happens, people are, you know, the algorithms, if you will, are going to present, they're going to reward you for that because yeah. clearly your quality or your content is quality. So, exactly. um, that very, very, very good. So, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm checking on the comments here. I want to make sure, uh, I saw a couple of comments that I want to say. So Stefan Kaplan, one of our, um, community members and, and users says absolutely consistent engagement with our viewers slash community is so key. Yeah. So obviously, uh, very much in agreement with you and, uh, Stefan has an awesome, uh, show. He's got a, he's a oh. photographer and does a lot of really cool stuff. So, nice. uh, JMT official wants to know, do you do coaching one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> <laughs> I have coaching programs. Um, I don't, I'm currently not doing one-on-ones, but I just don't have the time in my, in my schedule, but I do have coaching programs. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, let's definitely, speaking of like button, yeah, Mike from Never Let the Machine Win is reminding everyone, if you are enjoying today's stream, definitely make sure that you are letting us know. We want to hear yeah. from you and we love to know. It's also a way for you to let us know what you like. And, and so we definitely love that engagement um, for sure. So uh, Purple Paisley Planner uh, says, I'm so excited about 2022 and going live more yes. often. Awesome. Uh, we have a few people that are actually uh, going live every day. I saw some comments in there about people Amazing. saying they're doing, you know, seven, seven lives a week. So a lot of activity. <laughs> Activity there when it comes to those live uh, videos. So, okay, we're ready. I would. I needed. I needed to have a drum roll ready for this. But right? Yeah, I need okay, it. I need a drum roll. I don't. I don't know what I have. Hold on. Ow, that was loud. <laughs> Holy cow! Make sure they're free audio, free free assets. Um, no, that's not go. gonna work. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't have a drum roll. I do have a drum roll. It's somewhere. I might be able to figure that out. Okay. Well, we'll do it. We'll do it without a drum roll. But prediction number three, Luria, what is your prediction in 2022? What's the third one we have for today? We're going to talk about more dynamic tech. Now, we talked about we don't have to have a lot of tech, but um, as the tech side of things goes, you are going to actually see more progression in the tech side of things instead of just a camera that gives you a static angle. Um, you know, we're going to see more growth. 360 is there, but it's not really easy. <laughs> um, but, uh, and I don't know how much, I don't think that we'll really see a ton of progression in this area, but I think you're going to start to notice some progression. And I do know of companies that are working on, um, you know, more dynamic tech, more dynamic t um, camera angles, things like that, right? Where you're getting a, a, better view, um, a more engaging view um, that is not just a static view. So um, that'll be an interesting space to pay attention to. Um, it's, you know, going to cost you more. It's going to be something that not everybody can use right now. But uh, I think we'll see some progression in that area. Yeah. You know, I love that you... So I know that like tech, a lot of people focus on the tech. A lot yeah. of people want the fancy. They want certain things. But, you know, you know my motto. I mean, I'm like, we can be, we can, we can get fancy. We can get scrappy. And scrappy is not necessarily crappy. That's what I always say. Yep. So, I mean, I, one of the things I love is that, you know, again, I mentioned earlier that, you know, if you don't have a big budget, you don't have a camera that's, you know, nice or fancy, you can use your phone, but you can also use like multiple phones, for example, to go live. I mean, we did a, a show a while back about how you can actually use your phone as a webcam using some of these applications. Mm -hmm. And when I did that video, what was so funny was that I was like doing this kind of live demo of these applications that allow you to connect your phone to your, your computer. And there were all these filters built in. And one of them was yeah. like news, bro you know, broadcast news. And it like literally created this virtual, virtual like background of me, like in a desk, but it was like a news desk, but it was like bringing me in. Like, and it was like, mm. like a news show. And I yeah. literally was like, you guys, you know why this is so exciting? Because the, the technologies are just continuing to move yeah. at a rapid pace to help us just be even more creative. Yeah. And I, I love that. But the gear is also getting better. I mean, you know, StreamYard is now, now has hotkeys. And so you can actually now use things like a stream deck or a touch portal. And you can actually create these little shortcuts to make your production a little easier for yourself. And so... You know, I do think that the tech is coming, but the software is also meeting the tech in the gear right there with it. And I do think that that for me, that's exciting because personally, I like I mean, they're like toys to me. I love them. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I think that when people feel they feel empowered by this dynamic tech and these extra bells and whistles. I know that, you know, with StreamYard, you know, we are working on a lot of really cool features that are going to be coming, uh, that are going to be, you know, supporting what people's desires are with yeah. multiple cameras and music and other things. And so I think that the users and the streamers want this. And I love that, again, you don't necessarily have to have, as you said earlier, $10,000 to, you know, use this dynamic tech. Exactly. And so it's just becoming a, an exciting time. Um, but what let me I ask, find, oh, sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, no, I was going to ask you when someone is thinking about, you know, taking those steps with technology and, and adding these dynamic tools, you know, you mentioned, you know, multiple cameras and different camera angles. What about where, let's say someone is just streaming with a computer and a, and a basic webcam. Where do you think they should be looking in 2022 when it comes to advancing their tech so that they can kind of be thinking about it and maybe even setting aside a budget? Well, definitely a mic. <laughs> <laughs> let's start with the mic first before the webcam. <laughs> Get your good audio. Um, that's always the first place to spend money. Um, but, you know, we are seeing... We're seeing more advances in the webcam space. I actually have some webcams um, coming my way soon to that, that kind of are seeing that advancement and doing different things um, than just a webcam typically does. Um, and so, you know, you might be able to get by going into, you know, maybe third, fourth quarter of this year, uh, you might be able to start getting by with a webcam and getting that higher quality video. I mean, you'll, you'll never 
you'll never get the same quality, uh, you know, as you're going to spend um, on that that higher investment as you will on that lower investment. I mean, it's just a matter of life. It's a fact of life, right? You, what you spend, you get. But, um, you know, I just want, I want you to really think through like, okay, where do you want to be and how um, quickly do you think you can get there? And that should determine your budget. Does that answer your question? It does. I definitely think that, and it's, I think it can be kind of overwhelming for people because there are so many options because things are changing so, so rapidly, but you know, I do agree audio is super important. And then, you know, just the other things, but I also like to, I just encourage people to just keep tinkering. Just keep tinkering with things and keep looking at creative ways. Watch other people's live you know, videos and don't compare yourself to put yourself down. Look at it as a way to, hey, I really like that camera. I really love the way that camera looks. Okay, what is it? Now put it off to the side and say someday, right? But always be looking to how you can level up. I think that's a, definitely one of those things. And and I think just tinkering with the applications you know, um, and finding just fun, innovative ways that you can just make it more, more engaging. I mean, just mm -hmm. again, I guess I'll say leveling up the production value, right? And it doesn't yeah. always take thousands of dollars. So uh, Wisco Ted has a really good question. So I know that uh, you're familiar that StreamYard released StreamYard Teams yeah. last year in the fall, which allows you to have an actual like, you can, everybody has, everyone who uses StreamYard gets one additional seat in their account, no matter what kind of account you have. So for example, if I wanted to, you know, if, if Luria was my producer, if I were to hire Luria to be my producer for my show, I'll I could actually her. add, <laughs> oh God, that's scary. <laughs> I could, I could add Luria as a teammate and she can either co-produce a show with me, meaning be on here and controlling everything, or she can be backstage. And so that stream your teams feature is another way that, you know, you just are able to get more assistance, get more help. And it's going to, I think, in my opinion, make people uh, be able to do better co-hosted shows, more collaborations and things like that. But uh, Wisco Ted says, at what point should we start looking into using StreamYard Teams feature, like having a producer? Yeah. So the more fancy you get and the more sophisticated, the more, you know, videos and graphics and things you add into your, your streams, it can get a little bit more tasking as a, as a host. So what are your thoughts on somebody looking at maybe asking somebody to help them backstage or even help or hire them to be their producer? Have you, you know, what are your thoughts on that, especially with this new Teams feature that makes it so easy and so doable? Yeah, and it's, it's not something I put in the prediction, but remote production is definitely mm. something that we're going to see a big turn um, in 2022. And, and I think that it's important. Um, it, I think it's important for you to learn how to do it yourself, right? Because mm -hmm. it is easy. Um, but I also know that when you are doing things, it, like the, the, the multitask factor is is huge. So I think that the time you look at doing a remote production or using the Teams feature is when you have um, twofold. One, you just don't have the desire or the capability to multitask and try and do all of the things. Um, there are, a, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, people that I know that they just, they know that they need to focus on what they need to focus on and they don't care what the tech is. They just want somebody else to run everything, right? And so if you're at that level that you can afford to do so and just have somebody else take care of, of the tech and you focus on doing what you do best, that's totally acceptable, right? And it's, it's actually super helpful for you to just be able to focus. Um, but you usually are going to be at a higher level of business before, not just a, you know, not just starting or getting good, getting started in it. Now, the other thing is when you're doing a webinar or a virtual event or anything like that, where you're doing something that is more complicated or takes more focus than just a regular like weekly hangout live stream type of situation, I would encourage you to think about doing um, a remote producer at that point as well. Very, very key. I, I liked, uh, I liked that you were saying do it yourself first too. I'm such a big proponent of that because even important. to, yeah. even to like be able to tell somebody how you want help, exactly. if you've done it yourself first, you're going to be able to tell them what you need from them so much in such a more efficient manner. So I love that you said that and that 
do it yourself first. So um, I'm, I'm pretty excited about the engagement we have going on here. In fact, it's funny because Doug from SmackDown Outdoor says, wish I could afford to hire a producer. So that's mm -hmm. another thing. I mean, but here's the other thing. Maybe you have somebody in your industry. Maybe you have a peer. Maybe you guys can help each other mm -hmm. to, to start out where you don't hire somebody. You're just like, hey, I'll help you if you help me. And that's a great way to start. And again, yeah. with StreamYard Teams, it makes it super, super easy to have that backstage producer without giving somebody the entire, like the full keys to your account, which is one of the things I really love. And I know that's one of the big goals that why StreamYard wanted to put that feature together was so that people could help each other, uh, not only hire uh, each other, but really help each other to, to create these, these streams. But you, you offered some really great advice on it, not every stream even needs that, right? So, but right. there are some streams that it's good to be thinking about that and be putting that in your plan. So, okay, so let's keep moving because I know we have a couple more. We've got yeah. some exciting ones coming. So, why don't you share with us your fourth prediction for 2022? This is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Businesses are going to be expected to be more human and to connect. We talked already about how it's going to just become normal for live streaming to occur. But, you know, even to this day, there are a lot of businesses and um, companies that still hide behind their brand, right? Um, and you really, we're going to need to open that up because consumers are getting so used to that connection point and that conversation like we're having right now that businesses are just really going to be forced into it if they're not doing it already and dropping that level of um just hiding away right that and and just being more human behind the company uh that authenticity i i always do authenticity because i have this whole thing about like it, this world we live in is everybody wants to, to claim that they're being authentic, but it's a fake authenticity. If you look at, you know, Instagram perfect photos and stuff like that, there's still this lack of vulnerability with your audience and really opening up. It's kind of like a perfected version of yourself uh, or your company. And so I, that's why I always like do authenticity in, in, in air quotes. But um, I, I think that the true authenticity and vulnerability will actually start to flesh out a lot more on the business to consumer um, relationship. Yeah, I, I I couldn't agree more with what you said about the fake authenticity. Authenticity yeah. became like this like Buzzword. strategy. Yeah, I mean, it's a strategy, it became a, strategy yeah. a few years ago. And <laughs> And I think it's, you know, we can stay here and get deep on it if we want to, but I think that social media gave so many people this opportunity to put themselves out there in such yeah. an easier way. Whereas before you had to, you know, be in a TV commercial or be on a radio commercial or be on a stage, a physical stage. And now you can just grab your phone and start posting stuff to a social media channel and you're putting yourself out there. Mm -hmm. And so I do think that the authenticity piece became important, but I do, I mean, like you have said before, I know I've heard you say it before that live video is one of the most authentic things you could do. I mean, like, heck, you accidentally hit a button, you're a live video professional and you like hit a button and accidentally like literally exited the stream. My cable so, I mean, got caught and it, it <laughs> you know. <laughs> and it's like, I think that what's cool about live video in that humanistic piece, the being a human is that when you're on live video, yeah, something's probably going to go wrong or something weird is going to happen or your lights are going to fall like mine used to fall because I had them taped up yeah, and just that. going with the flow and just laughing about it or being yourself mm -hmm. no differently than you would if you were sitting in a coffee shop with a customer having yeah. coffee with them, you know, being that way live video enables us to do that. Like you can't. Precious. Oh, and I was just going to say, like, you can't mis misinterpret what we're saying and doing because exactly. you can hear our voice. You can see how we're doing it. You can literally be in the room with us. Yeah. And I do think that live video creates the capability and the ability for businesses to be more authentic, be down to earth, be more of a human. Um, but the other thing that you said is that I loved what you said about if you're not doing it yet, you're kind of going to be probably forced to do it because you're you're going to be all of a sudden you're going to be the exception. Whereas mm -hmm. before it was like these brands and these influencers that were going live, they stood out. And now it's almost like that's becoming normalized, as you mentioned earlier. And so I loved what, I loved that you said that. I mean, that might be hard for some people to hear, uh, but it is a bit of a reality. So marketing mm -hmm. yourself, putting yourself out there is going to require things like live video because that's what people are becoming accustomed to. It's how they want to connect with you. So um, I saw a, a comment here 
earlier. So the video for bosses, she said, humanizing the brands. Yes. yes. Uh, and I Annette think that that's so, so part of this, right? And because a lot of times on the personal side of things as, as entrepreneurs or creators, um, when we're putting ourselves out there, the thing that people are afraid of the most is um, mistakes, right? Of screwing it up. But yet that's on the flip side, that's what people like about live and, and is that is that there are mess ups and there's mistakes and that you can, as Mel said, you can just know that this person is saying is speaking the truth. Um, and I think that um, that same thing for more personal people, individuals, is the same issue that b bigger brands have as well is what if they say something off message? What if they screw something up, right? And so putting trust in a person to humanize that brand is um, the biggest hurdle that they have. Um, but I firmly believe that you can still be on brand and still be personal and authentic, right? And so I'm, it's kind of like my mission to help companies see that, like, oh, come on, <laughs> you got this, uh, you can do yeah, it. Yeah, and, and I think I think businesses and brands feel more pressure to be perfect. They do. Like they have to be buttoned up. Mm -hmm. You know, individuals like myself or, or even hobbyists or, or others, they probably feel a, a little bit freer that they mm -hmm. can just go out there because, you know, they're not, they're not, there's not some big brand guide, right. Yeah, that, that they're trying exactly. to follow. Um, uh, but, and I, and I do think that, you know, more businesses do need to kind of just embrace this. Um, so I love, but you know what you said about, you make a mistake, it actually will help your audience connect with you because they're like, oh, they're, they're like a real life person. Like they make mistakes too. Uh, like Jen's Den Art. I love the, I love live so much better than pre-recorded. Just be real. Yeah. Mm, so, awesome. I mean, it just, it's kind of like you're having a conversation and you can have that two-way conversation too. Yeah. So I love it. Uh, awesome. <laughs> I love the comments that we have coming in. So like here, happy paper people with Marianne says people like seeing that we're human too. Not perfect. Exactly. So yeah. a lot of people are definitely resonating with the message that you're sharing with us today uh, for sure. So speaking of we, if you're just now tuning in, we are talking to Luria Petrucci from Live Streaming Pros. She is sharing her five big live video strategies and predictions for 2022. So if you're just joining us, we have talked about the top four, her first four that she wanted to share, but she's got one more for us. So Luria, what is your fifth prediction, your fifth strategy you want people to embrace in 2022? There's our drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to work Virtual on my drum roll skills. events, of course. This is a huge one. And, you know, people have kind of been on a... Um, <laughs> A, a back and forth, a uh, bouncing ball of in-person events, virtual events. Of course, through the pandemic, you know, virtual events became so much more accessible. Um, and there are so many different levels of events that you can do. Um, but virtual events and, and actually connecting and engaging through Zoom and other platforms um, is just going to continue to get better and better and better through 2022. Yeah, I and you know, I think that so virtual events, it's one of those things where when we had the pandemic and everything that kind of happened, people started embracing these virtual events, yeah. but what starting to happen, I mean, people are like, there's some events that may never go back to in-person or there yeah. may be even be a blend of virtual yeah. events with in-person yeah, events. And so, but tell me what, tell me a little bit more. So, you know, virtual events, I think some people, when they hear virtual event, they think big conference, right. Or, you know, right. Oh, the, the Salesforce, you know, conference or whatever, like the big annual conference, but virtual events come in all shapes and sizes. Thank Can you. you talk a little bit about, you know, maybe somebody who, I mean, maybe just a little localish, you know, event versus a big event. I mean, do you do you feel that mo everybody should be looking at virtual events and thinking about it? And how does someone decide that their their content is a good fit for a virtual event versus maybe not being able to be a virtual event? That was a loaded question. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my mind was going faster than my mouth could get it out. So I'm like, I, I, hold on. <laughs> sorry. Wait, wait, what did you ask me? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. No, no that's okay. You I know, think... like just I think that I'm I guess I just want you to help people realize like it's not just big events that you're speaking of. Exactly. And and I think that that's so key to remember individuals entrepreneurs, creators can put on virtual events and create more dynamic um, content 
through that than they can in um, their free content that they put out. So whatever level you're at, it could be a small 10 person event. It could be a hundred people. It could be 500, it could be thousand, it could be 10,000. Um, it's all, it, it just depends on, you know, what you're trying to accomplish. So, um, an event is a great way to, um, create that live engagement connected with what we typically think of as, you know, um, more structured content than our free stuff. Um, mm -hmm. so that you're walking people through an exercise or so that you're connecting them, connecting all of the dots for them. So there are a lot of ways to structure virtual events. Um, and I think that this is where we're going to see the most growth in 2022 is kind of the, uh, uh, a words, <laughs> a, um, a, like kind of a structure of like maybe, you know, three to five different ways to do this. Right. So I think we'll see some of that come down the pipeline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no structure. I, I agree. I think that that's a great way to describe it, the structure, right? And mm -hmm. obviously there's platforms that are enabling and helping everyone create virtual events. You know, I yeah. mean, StreamYard, you could, we have many users that actually just using StreamYard create amazing virtual events. But then of course, StreamYard is owned by Hopin. So Hopin is an amazing virtual event platform too, where literally it's like StreamYard right inside of it. And again, I think that just seeing some of those types of trends, you're going to also, as you said earlier, the technology is also going to be keeping up where the yeah. solutions are going to make it easier for you to host a virtual event. Uh, but also one of the things that I think is kind of interesting is that when it comes to virtual events, you could put on your own virtual event, but you could also potentially be, you know, a participant, a speaker at a virtual event yes. and using live video is you're, you're live on video, maybe in a, a special platform, but doing more live videos is going to maybe get you those opportunities because they're going to be able to see, Hey, they're good on video live. Therefore I can trust them in my virtual event versus you know, when it's your being on a physical stage is different than being able to show up on video mm -hmm. in your office by yourself and still create a dynamic presentation. And so I do think that live video is also a great way to get those opportunities. And, uh, and that's a really good, mm -hmm. before we move to questions, that's a really mm -hmm. good tie-in to, to your personal brand, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and being on that stage, the more, because of Zoom fatigue and all of the, um, you know, the weight that we feel um, being on a, in a in an event, you know, through for multiple hours a day, um, that the more you can present better on live streaming and be engaging with the audience, the better you're going to. I think you, you might have just said that, but I, it was kind of going down a different path. Mm -hmm. But like you're going to set the stage for all of the other speakers, right? So the more you practice and public live streams, the better you get at speaking um, in a virtual event too. And those is really powerful. Yeah, no. And and I think that, you know, just you're going to continue to see more and more of it. And so um, happy uh, paper people with Marianne says virtual say. events. I know that's a the words are hard right now in 2022 <laughs> for some reason, but uh, virtual events allow us to include followers from all over the world. Yes. I hold an SNL event every week among others that will always continue. Yeah. And I do think yeah. that virtual events, they allow you to, they allow you to reach a broader audience. Mm -hmm. And that is definitely one of the benefits of virtual events too. So, you know, again, a, a physical event is great. You can't, you just can't compete with that being in physical space, but yeah. could you get that many people to be able to have access to your event? So um, speaking of virtual events, uh, I know that uh, you've got something kind of big coming up and going on. In fact, uh, here at StreamYard, we're pretty excited to be a part of that as well. Why don't you tell, I mean, you've got all these predictions you just shared with us. You've got these strategies you just shared with us. And I think a lot of times what happens is, is people are all, we're always learning about what we should be doing, mm -hmm. right? We all, we hear all the advice. We hear all the, the tips and the, and the, and the things that we need to be doing and implementing, but sometimes actually doing it can be overwhelming and be pretty hard. And I know that you're really passionate about that and uh, which is why you're putting on what you're putting on. So why don't you tell us about expand your reach. Yeah. So this is my first virtual event to throw. Um, I've done physical events and all kinds of stuff, but this is um, something that I, I didn't want to do if I couldn't do it right. And by right, I mean that it was effective 
for your transformation in 2022 with your video strategy, um, but also engaging um, and have amazing speakers. So Expand Your Reach is all about helping you uh, grow your audience and grow your revenue in 2022 through video. Uh, so recorded video, live video, short form content is also something that's really big in this year. And so we're going to create an action plan together. We have an incredible list of speakers, amazing sponsors like StreamYard, mm -hmm. and um, we're really going to just hammer out all of the different ideas and strategies that work, um, but also create, I'm going to walk you through a process to create your action plan, your vision for where you want to be in the next 90 days and the rest of the year. So it's going to be an incredible event full of powerful, powerful um, speakers who are going to talk and give you their secrets. Um, we'll start with kind of conceptual side of things, ideas, strategies, just open your mind to some stuff. Then the second day will get really nitty gritty. And the third day is all about optimization and pushing that content out there. So it's going to be, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't even describe how excited I am. <laughs> I, I, I know how excited you are because I know how passionate you are about, again, giving people that roadmap, that action plan, that ability to sit down and think about, okay, where am I in my journey and how can I make this worth it. Cause I think a lot of things that at least I hear a lot about, and I know again, another reason why you're so passionate about this event is because it's like, Hey, we're not doing this for nothing. Like right. we want to reach goals. We want to actually make things happen, make an impact. And so everyone has their whys and their goals and, you know, video is powerful. Video is, is a way to make things happen, whatever those goals are. And I know that you're really passionate about helping people with that. And Yes, you have an amazing lineup of speakers. It clearly shows how amazing you are because these people are joining forces with you. I know um, StreamYard has a few of our partners. Dean Nimmin is going to be speaking. Roberto yeah. Blake is going to be speaking. I am going to be speaking yes. uh, as well. <laughs> Actually, excited. you're going to be speaking about that scrappy, That's not right. crappy concept that we were talking about before. So if you guys want to get inspired to just get the job done, um, that's what Mel will be hammering I'm in pumped. your head. I'm so excited about it. And just so everybody knows, so yes, StreamYard is a proud sponsor of this event. Uh, you know, I know Loria didn't even get a, a, you didn't even rattle off the speaker names, but such big names, amazing people. A lot of you are familiar with a lot of these people and have been learning from these people already. You're going to have a chance to learn from them, but StreamYard is a sponsor. And so you can actually get a 20% off discount on your registration for this event. Now I'm going to have Luria break down the ticket types uh, for us as well, but definitely Definitely, we have a link in the description. If you are watching on YouTube or a Facebook page, there is already a link in the description for you where you can go check that out. But definitely make sure you use that coupon SYEYR to claim your 20% discount. So, Luria, help, let's help, let's talk about the different ticket types yeah. that, that are available to people so that they can decide what kind of ticket they should should get. Cause I know there are some different tickets. Yeah, you just have two options. Standard ticket um, gets you access to the all sessions. The, and by by the way, these are all live sessions. Uh, we don't have any pre-recorded sessions at all. It was really important to me to make sure everything was live and interactive and engaging. We've got some really fun stuff coming in terms of the engagement and our activity side of things. The more you participate, the more chances you get to win prizes. Um, and we have some really good prizes from Sony and from uh, Elgato and lots more. Um, but yeah, so you have the standard ticket, which gets you access to all the live show, all the live sessions, um, as well as, there you go, <laughs> the, a virtual goodie bag uh, for some discounts and goodies there. Um, and then your uh, breakout sessions. These are activities that we have throughout the event to make sure that you're brainstorming about the ideas that you're learning and taking action. Um, and then the all access comes with replays. Um, so those replays will be important because I think there are gonna, there's so many speakers there. It's going to be action packed for sure. Um, but those replays will help you kind of rewatch or if you miss something, uh, then you'll be able to go back and watch those um, and you get access to our parties. <laughs> so we're going to be hanging out. And and be in a community together. So yeah, uh, I'm, video I'm, boss. 
video for oh. bosses are already in. Oh yeah, we got a few people yeah. already in. Uh, actually, so some Christmas clatter uh, got my Woo! whole access. So excited. So yeah, for sure. So again, you guys can go to livestreamingpros.com forward slash summit uh, to get that uh, to get access to where you can register and use our code S Y E Y R so you can get a twenty percent discount uh, for your ticket. So definitely uh, check that out for sure. I know that. I love that it's live. It's going to be live, but you're mm -hmm. also it's it, there's going to be this this whole different experience. It's not like you're just going to log in and watch a bunch of videos, right? It's actually yeah. interactive. And mm -hmm. tell us, I mean, like literally, the speakers will get to see the audience members, right? Yeah, absolutely. You guys yeah. get to give feedback to our speakers, and that you know sometimes people are like, "Ooh," <laughs> um, <laughs> but that allows the speakers to give you a better presentation by seeing your faces. By we we have some some plans, and I'm not going to tell you what they are, but we have some tools for you to be able to let the speakers know how they're doing during the sessions and um, and just interacting with them in, in, in different ways. Uh, you're going to be able to ask most of the speakers questions, right, and really engage from that perspective. So there's a lot of interactivity, um, a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to, I'm actually going to be standing in front. This, this set is kind of going away as is, uh, I'm going to be standing in front of like five different big monitors, big TVs, um, so that I can see you guys on zoom, all of my participants, all of my, the, the attendees. Right. And so I can talk to you and I can engage with you. Uh, I'll see the chat room. We'll, we'll just have a ton of fun through the event. So it's not going to be, you just bored to tears for eight hours a day. <laughs> I, I just love that you have this, uh, you know, you have streamer is going to be offering uh, some giveaways as well. You've got all these great things yes. that you're going to be giving away. People can be earning points uh, throughout the way they're engaged. In fact, the sooner you register, the sooner you start earning points. Uh -huh. And so that's definitely there one of those. There are people going crazy. Competing. I have to like turn off my discord notifications because <laughs> people are going crazy in there. Yep. It's super, super fun. I, I, I think you've attended enough events. You've put on enough events of your own, you know, been involved in events that you knew how to make this different. And that's what I think is so exciting is you were like, I don't want this to be like all the other things. I want this to be different. And you are really pulling all these great things together from your, your vast experience to do that. So, well, before we let you go, do you want to hang out while I give away two tickets? I'm going <gasps> to give away two tickets. Yes. What? Let's do it. Oh, oh yes. how do you want to hang win? out how while do I do win? that? That's right. Everybody get ready. Get your fingers ready. Ooh. We're going to give away two tickets. To, to all access tickets to expand your reach, Luria's event. So uh, let's see here. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do hashtag love StreamYard. So we are going to go ahead and start typing hashtag love StreamYard into the uh, comments here. Anyone that is, I'm going to put that up on screen. There we go. That is what you guys want to type in. Love StreamYard, hashtag love StreamYard. Don't forget the hashtag. Uh, don't put any spaces in there. Just hashtag love StreamYard. Start putting those in the comments. Oh. We are going to start collecting They're comments. In it. Oh, this is going to be so fun. I love doing this. <laughs> so I am going to be using StreamYard's amazing giveaway tool that I, I love this thing. This thing is so fun. Uh, so we've got all the Wait, comments going crazy. you have a giveaway tool? You didn't know that? How did I not know that? What? <laughs> no. How you, why haven't you been doing your job? <laughs> I'm going to come on the show and we're going to talk about the giveaway tool. Okay. Wow, I didn't know this. <laughs> this thing is so cool. So yeah. So Dan and Gage used to, they basically were doing giveaways on their town halls every Sunday and everyone was like, that's so cool. How do I get that tool? And basically Dan made it himself and you know, they were like, okay, well let's go ahead. So as StreamYard is, I always say StreamYard is so crazy generous. Everybody can use this giveaway tool. If you're a StreamYard user, as long as you're using StreamYard on any of the plans, including the free plan, you can use this giveaway tool. In fact, we have some YouTube videos up on our channel about how to use it. I actually just did a video about ideas, what you can give away. You don't always have to give away tickets or things that cost money. And you just go to StreamYard.com forward slash giveaway and you will cool. select your live stream right? We, we picked one that we're live on right now. And so it's going to match anyone that's going to be typing in hashtag love StreamYard. You're going to get one entry into the giveaway. Now, doesn't matter. You can type in as many times as you want. You're still only going to get one entry. So you're about, I can't believe you didn't know this. You're about to see it live, <laughs> sister. Okay. So again, we're doing an all access pass uh, to Luria's expand your reach event. But again, if you don't win today, you can get a 20% discount 
on this event. Uh, I'm definitely excited to be a part of the event. We've got some of our partners, Roberto Blake, Dean Nimmin, uh, Rob uh, Basilas. Oh, gosh, I can never say it. How do you say it? Balasavas? Balasavas, that's it. I Thank think, you. I think I'm saying it right. I think you got it correct. I think you got it correct. Uh, those are some of our StreamYard partners uh, that are also going to be uh, speaking at this event. Amy Porterfield, Pat Flynn, Harris Heller, Daryl Eves. Uh, so many, so many people. D uh, Stephanie Liu. So Linus we've got a lot of great speakers. E What'd you say? Oh. oh, yeah. There's Daryl like so many speakers that I don't even like, <sighs> I don't even know how you can keep track of all of them. So <laughs> super it's fun. Okay. So we're going to do, uh, here we go. We're going to do our first drawing. So we're going to draw two entries here. Okay. So you don't have to retype your, um, don't retype your, 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 uh, entry here. Yeah. Hashtag love StreamYard. So we are going to do it right now. We're going to go ahead and draw. Luria is now seeing our amazing tool for the first time ever, which shocks me, but here you go, Luria. <laughs> this is how it works. All right, here we go. I'm gonna randomly gonna pick be? somebody. Who Who's it gonna be? be? Oh, 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 that's just a tease. Get Seeing there. their name come oh. on. Oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> is a friend of the show of course yes. you are going to get an all access pass chris so chris to claim your ticket you actually are going to send an email to marketing at streamyard.com i want you to provide take a quick screen capture right now of this particular screen and i want you to include that in your email so screen grab this right now chris so that you can email marketing at streamyard.com and let them know you won one of the all access all access passes to the expand your reach summit so congratulations cool. chris for sure awesome stuff right there all right if you didn't type in your comment the first time now we get to do it again we're gonna Ooh, draw again here in more. just a moment so uh if you didn't type it in yet go ahead and type it in uh so i see we still have 54 entries Ooh, uh so we're waiting 55. we're waiting now Ooh. if you already typed your comment in you don't have to retype it it's only <laughs> going to count you once that's how it works uh also just so you know luria this tool is really cool so yeah. if I wanted to not do like a match text and I just wanted to, you were talking about engagement earlier and I wanted to reward people for just engaging on the stream. Yeah. If we didn't type in a text to match, it'll actually just enter anyone that commented on the stream throughout the whole stream. That's so awesome. super fun, nice random picker uh, that we have here. That's again, free to everyone. So, um, all right, we're going to draw again. We've got a couple okay. more entries that were added. Oh, we got a couple more coming in. All right, so Chris was our first winner. So we're gonna give away one more all access, all access pass ticket to Larry's event. So here we go. Oh, someone got in there right at the end. Oh. Laura got in right at the end. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we're gonna see who wins the second ticket. It's gonna be, all right. Uh, it's a, it's Tiha, Tiha, I can't, Sheila, Sheila, Sheila. Mokina. How do we phonetically I, pronounce that? I want to be able to say I want to know. Event. I actually please do, do want to know. Type in the comment, please. Give us that phonetic. I Beautiful do want to name. say that one. I know. it's. Be I love the profile picture too, actually. Yeah. Uh, sometimes when we get these, it'll be a profile picture of, you know, somebody's pet or something. And I'm like, no, I want to see your face. I want to see who won. <laughs> Although so we, all, definitely. we all like pet pictures too. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We do. Okay. So you Congrats. are going to want to send, a, a gr again, grab a screenshot right here grab a screenshot of you winning this ticket uh today and definitely send us an email over at uh, marketing at streamyard.com let them know that you won the second free ticket that we gave away on today's stream so that you can claim access to your ticket so loria super excited that you were here today i appreciate you so much for joining us i know that you have a busy day a busy week getting ready for this event uh but thank you for sharing your 2022 you know That's predictions for the strategies that we need to be embracing and looking at for video and live video as we are trying to expand our reach, right? So yes. super excited to have you on the show. And thank you again so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thank you for all the comments and questions. I'm sorry we didn't get to answer all of them. Um, but if you didn't win today, definitely it's going to be worth it for you to grab your ticket. Uh, I will. I My promise to you is to make sure that you have an amazing time, productive, fun, and you create your action plan for the, the next year for your Love video it. content. So thank you so much, guys. It's been awesome hanging out. All right. Thanks, Luria. See you later. Oh, uh, I love it. I love it. I know that we didn't get a chance to answer everybody's questions. I saw some questions about StreamYard Mobile and how things work. Uh, but, you know, we were sharing today about our 2022 uh, predictions from Luria Petrucci from Live Streaming Pros. And we just gave away two tickets to her all uh, to her amazing event that she's got coming up. Speaking of, again, as Luria mentioned, 
if you didn't win the ticket, uh, if you weren't one of those lucky winners, then you can still get a 20% off discount for your registration. Just use S Y E Y R so that you can get that discount for that event that is going to be amazing. I'm excited to be a part of this event. There's a, an amazing lineup of speakers uh, that are going to be here. And to register for that event, you can actually go to livestreamingpros.com forward slash summit. And you want to again, use that code uh, so that you can get your discount. Now, a link is in the description. If you're watching on YouTube, there is a link in the description uh, that'll take you directly to that page. And if you're watching on our Facebook page, there's a link there as well. So uh, again, that's livestreamingpros.com forward slash summit and use that discount code so you can get your 20% discount. StreamYard is a is really excited to, to partner uh, with this event because we believe that video is definitely where things are and we love live video and we want people to be using as much live video as they can. But again, as Luria said, we also believe that in order to really truly make those goals happen, really make those big dreams happen, it is better and more effective if you do have an actionable plan with strategy. And so this is going to be a motivational event, an inspiring event to help you really look forward and how you can be using live video and video to, as Loria said, expand your reach. So super excited. Uh, we're excited to be a partner of this event and we're going to have a lot of fun. So all right, everybody. Well, that's what we had for today into this show. And I will let you all get on with your day. Hopefully you are uh, having a great week so far. And make sure that if you haven't already, that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel because we are releasing tutorials all the time. We're also live all the time. We've got a lot of great content coming up. We have so many great things coming up, especially this month. So many things coming up uh, that will be uh, live uh, streaming about this month. So really excited to be a part of you, uh, be a part of this uh community, as well as uh, just to be one of your mentors, helping you create better live videos. So again, I'm Melanie Diane Howell signing off for now. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. See ya.